All right, guys, welcome to the back of the vlog. We're here in Seattle Supercross at Little Field. Uh, it's race day. I didn't really get the time to pick up the camera yesterday. We've been running around doing press day. I had uh, five or six interviews yesterday with the local news promoting Supercross. But I got clips yesterday. I just wasn't able to intro the vlog, so I'll try to put some clips in after this. But uh, it's 10 o'clock, Fan Fest is opening. About to head out for track walk. Um, I'm excited for the day. Uh, it's been raining since yesterday at noon, so we're ready to get after it. It's going to be muddy at least first practice, but um, track walk will be good and I'm uh, ready to see all the friends and family that come out this weekend. Uh, more importantly, let's talk about the Supercross Championship that's going on this weekend. Uh, Joey Desimone is with me. Uh, you're, this is your first championship ride. Uh, yeah, this is my rookie season. Uh, it's been a blast so far. And uh, now we're finally up here in the great Northwest, my hometown race. And uh, really excited to get racing tomorrow right in front of my hometown crowd for the first time. muddy but it looks like it'll be fine later on but with how they've been running it this year you never know if you're gonna get a Q2 so uh just getting a good look and then no free practice so it's straight to qualifiers so basically one roll lap and go as hard as you can try to get a lap in with how it's been this year in the mud you never know if you're gonna get a second shot at it so you gotta send it when you can and uh head back to the pit here in a second after riders meeting and be geared up guys we uh, just got done with Q1 sitting good I'm sitting 40th so inside right now the track's getting brutal it's really up in there if there's gonna be a Q2 no idea but I'm ready if we do go out there had a little bit of problem out there on the first lap I uh, got some dirt lodged down my throat had a dry throat had to pull off and throw up but it is what it is I got back out there got a fast lap in and um, I'm sitting one spot in so we're good for now but um, you're never safe until qualifying is done, so I'm getting ready to go out there for Q2 and uh, be ready to put in a faster lap if I need to. And uh, right now we're just enjoying time with the friends and family who came out here and signing autographs for the fans, taking pictures, and uh, did a wheel swap. My, I had problems with my wheel, but we're good, and I'll see you guys after Q2 if they have it, or I'll update you if they cancel.
SP2 is done. Uh, the track was a lot slower than there, about three seconds a lap slower. And so um, when I went out, I put in a 101 and I ran a 59 flat in the first one. The second one I ran a 101 and I was like 12th overall. So I thought I was in no matter what. And uh, I just still put it in laps, but uh, I, uh, two of the A riders, they bumped me out. And um, it's, it's a bummer to, mi to miss the night show always, but uh, it's especially a bummer here uh, in front of the hometown crowd. But um, yeah, uh, St. Louis is next weekend. Uh, we gotta sit down and talk about if we're gonna do it or not. Um, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of traveling. And um, I think it's like 31 hour drive all the way to St. Louis from here. And um, so that does add up and gas money and entry fees and all that. So we're gonna see, uh, talk it over, see what we think. And um, this could have been my last one, but so it is, it's even, uh, worse that I missed the night show, but I guess I should have gone faster, but that track was gnarly and um, I tried my best, but uh, Yeah uh, It is what it is and uh, I'm riding the best I have so far this year and that's part of the rookie season is building confidence and uh, It feels good to finally get that done But um, yeah, it just wasn't fast enough, but it felt good out there. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna enjoy the time I have here with the friends and family that came out. There's a lot it's hectic in there. That's why I'm out here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go watch the night show, uh, enjoy the time, and uh, I'll probably catch you guys after. Guys, don't forget you can enter to win one of these not this exact one I've been abusing this one as a pit bike this whole team has all year but we have two brand new ones getting given away at the end of Supercross all you have to do is go to radicalmoto.com order a jersey just like that uh, you can get it customized with your name and number on it and it's the same thing I wear during the races it's great quality super comfortable and uh, all you do gotta do buy one of those and you're entered to win one of these sweet uh, 110 e-bikes. Matt, what do we think about the night? Huh? Any words about the night? How, how my performance or chases went? Yeah, I know. My performance was pretty bad. But you don't have to be that blatant about it. All right. That's a wrap on Seattle. Uh, didn't make the night show, but uh, it was a fun time doing press and all that stuff. But uh, I'm really happy with my riding towards the end of the year now. Uh, getting more confident, getting better. And that's kind of all the rookie season's about. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go to St. Louis for the next round next weekend, but we're gonna try to finish the series in uh, Denver and Salt Lake. But um, see what it, what our finances offer really. Uh, but. If we don't, uh, it is what it is, and uh, I've really enjoyed this year so far, and I'm really enjoying the bike, the team I'm on. And uh, even if we get to do some outdoors, I'm stoked on that. But um, yeah, I've lost my voice, if you can't tell. But uh, yeah, the main events were gnarly. Levi won for the hometown, and then 450s, it came down to the wire, so I was screaming the whole time. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to head home. We got all packed up here, and uh, yeah, blessed to be doing this every weekend, even if it's not the results we want. So, yeah, I'm ready to go home, go to bed, good night.